Hi guys, the other day I made this squid spaghetti and while it was really delicious and fancy, it actually took no time at all to throw together. I used this black spaghetti which is flavoured and coloured with squid ink, but if you can't find it in an Italian deli or online, then just use regular spaghetti. I really recommend this stuff though because you can see there that the edges of the spaghetti are rough. This is from being passed through the spaghetti cast slowly in small batches as opposed to pasta that's quickly mass produced. These rough bits are really good for clinging to sauce. First off, grab some garlic. I love garlic, especially in seafood dishes, so I am going to use quite a lot of it here. I'm going to use six cloves. That worked really nicely, but if you want to use less, feel free, it's no big deal. So just peel them and then I crush them into a plate to set them aside until later, but you can finely mince them if you like or finely grate them with a microplane. Next, I took one fresh red chilli and I de-seeded it because I don't like a huge amount of heat and then I diced it up really, really small and added it to the plate with the garlic because the garlic and the chilli will be added at the same time. Now, here I have 150 grams of washed samphire. This is naturally really salty and gives dishes a lovely taste of the sea. I also have 10 cherry tomatoes here that I'm just going to quarter and set aside until later. I have three sprigs of fresh oregano that I'm just going to drop in as is. If you don't have fresh, just use maybe a half teaspoon of dried. I have some fresh parsley leaves here that I'm going to chop up and use as a garnish at the end. You'll need a glass of white wine. I suggest getting something you like so that you'll have the rest of the bottle to drink yourself. Now, here I have two squid fillets that I bought frozen and just allowed to thaw. There was no cleaning or gutting involved at all. Just make sure you dry them really well with some paper towels and I just sliced them up into one centimeter thick rings. But once I finished the first ring, I decided three fillets would be better for two people and I had defrosted three anyway. So once the three fillets are sliced up, it's time to start cooking. Bring a large pot of salted water to the boil and add in 250 grams of that black spaghetti and push it all down so that it's all submerged. And that should probably take between 13 and 14 minutes according to my packet instructions, but check your own. When the pasta has about 10 minutes to go, place a large frying pan over a high heat. And once it's really, really hot, add four tablespoons of olive oil. Once that's hot and kind of shimmering, go in with your squid and stir fry them for about three minutes. Then with a slotted spoon, take them out and set them aside while you make the rest of your sauce. Add the chili and garlic and give them a quick stir fry for just 30 seconds until they become really aromatic. And yeah, I did just spot that I left one bit of squid in the pan. Then I added the oregano and the cherry tomatoes. Then I just gave them a quick stir for about another 30 seconds before I added the wine. Then I just let it cook for about four minutes over a high heat, stirring occasionally. Then I drained the pasta just before adding the samphire to the pan. I stirred that in and had it cook for about two minutes before I added in the drained pasta. I turned off the heat and stirred that in as well. I think a pair of tongs is best for mixing spaghetti into sauces. Just pick up a clump of it and let it drop from a height and keep doing this until all the spaghetti strands are coated in the sauce. Now you should give it a little taste to check for seasoning and adjust if needs be. I added just a little pinch of sea salt flakes because the samphire is really salty anyway and just mix that in. Then I added back in most of the squid rings, but not all. I kept a few back to garnish and just mixed them in as well before I served at the table. This really was such a winner with real depth of flavour. The squid, black spaghetti and samphire gave such a taste of the sea, which is always complemented by white wine and piles of garlic. I garnished with some fresh parsley leaves and the remaining squid rings. Then I just tucked in and enjoyed. This really was so tasty. I think everyone should give it a go at home. Thanks so for watching guys. If you liked this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe below. You can check me out on social media if you like. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.